A white poop means there is a lack of bile. A black poop could be caused by having something like activated charcoal or beet juice, but it could also mean that you have bleeding in the upper GI tract, which could be Crohn's disease. If somebody has super dry, pebbly poops, then they're probably constipated, and this is caused by the kidney collecting tubules being active, and their body is holding onto water, and they might also have just recently gained a lot of weight, or they have weight issues. A normal poop that has streaks of blood, this could be caused by anal fissures or hemorrhoids or a perianal fistula opening and it's just kind of scraping by. Or it could be proctitis or some sort of ulcerative colitis. Temporary diarrhea could be caused by food poisoning, but if somebody's been having diarrhea more than five times a day for a long time, then they either have Crohn's or colitis or some sort of an IBS. Pooping straight blood, then they probably have ulcerative colitis. The more fresh that blood is, the closer it is to the exit. The more dark the blood is, the higher up the GI tract it is. If somebody has green, yellowy, foamy, super stinky diarrhea, this is what I had. This is actually caused by the gallbladder pancreas constantly going in and out of overdrive. And essentially what's happening is the bile gets dumped into your digestive system. It's super alkaline and irritating and your intestines just push it out as fast as possible. It's also going to kind of burn when it comes out too. I used to have really bad Crohn's and colitis, and I help people fix it with my 13-day protocol. Essentially, what's happening is a traumatic event put one of our organs into overdrive, and every time this conflict gets reactivated or we encounter PTSD triggers from this conflict, it puts that organ into overdrive, it beats up our gut, and it gives us symptoms. So the way to fix these things is to find the conflict and find its PTSD triggers. And a lot of the times that will cut somebody's symptoms in half. But I have a free webinar that's essentially a mini version of my 13-day protocol.